Yeah, let's go. First game, here we go, Rada. Yeah, I'm hyped. I w everyone always loves to watch some grand finals. I honestly think this is the most excited I've ever seen you, Capepe. Ah, I Let's think go. This, is, this is the first grand finals that we cast together, right? I'm usually this a little true. bit more, more excited at grand finals. Not much, but a little bit more excited. <laughs> We see smoke from both teams, but don't seem like they, they are going to find each other. And I don't know. We may see a little bit of a, a backstab across the mid lane type thing happen here. But you see with the Naga Siren and Illusions, they're scouting out. The, they've got a great bead on exactly where the entirety of Extreme Gaming are. Yeah, those kind of plays is really hard to make against uh, Hero of Illusions like Naga. It's so hard to... You, you need to strike fast if you want to strike. They, they just went there, played some wards, like, yeah, if we find a kill, great. But it's not like Xtreme really wanted to go for a kill. It's always like, it's just good to have a first blood. If you get it, fine. If you don't, at least we played some wards. It seems like we won't have a fight, only fighting against Illusions. The battle ah, I, I'm curious to see what you will be able to do with that Bristol back. I'm really curious of that pick. I'm not sure what to expect. All right, so a little bit of a sleepy start here. Two for two on the runes. No first blood before the horn. Everybody going to the lanes that were expected of them. So uh, pretty much a, a blank slate on this game, Gapepe. Yeah, it is. Ah, I, I want to look at this bottom lane, because top lane, I feel like both Bristolback and Sven, they are going to farm, and Bristolback, he can snowball out of the lane, because it's a Bristolback. We all know how hard it is to play against this hero, but like, I don't think his lane is that bad at surviving Bristolback. I don't think he's good at applying pressure to Bristolback, but he's pretty good at surviving. So I feel like on this top lane... Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, Earth Spike. Okay. Blood grenade out, on to DY. One more touch is all it'll take, but the fairy fire's there. The bristle, no, barely able to survive is DY avoiding first blood. Yeah, but still, that's good enough. Like, bo both heroes really low on HP. It's just, if you misstep, you're gonna get stunned by Lion, and it's gonna hurt. I believe both have. Oh, no, we. I mean, didn't go for a sticker, Leon. Uh oh. That hurts a little bit. That hurts a little bit. If he had a magic stick, he, he would be okay. Like, yeah, I'm low, but I have like almost maybe 10 charges on it, so I'm feeling good. That's not the case. Uh, that that makes life a little bit harder for Ame. Because, like, Sven, he, he, go f he went for his third skill already, so you have some armor you can do with Bristol back, but that harass early on, that hurts a lot. And mid lane, poor set, so like, it's gonna be a really hard lane. He is farming well. It's usually how it goes early on the first waves, but soon it's gonna be unbearable to play against Lina. Just so much damage. So I'm glad that we get to see a Lina game today. I was thinking about potentially picking up Lina in the last game. Uh, but uh, wasn't in the cards. You feel like this Lina is gonna go for the... Netherlands, Agony, or, or she's gonna go for Gleipnir? Uh, I don't know, right? Because, I mean, technically, Jean Q, he could also go for the Gleppy. Yep. Yeah, fair so enough. So I guess it, it's just kind of a read on the game, I guess, what kind of game uh, Jean Q is having. Yeah, because it feels like if you want to play against Naga, you go Gleipnir. But if you want to play against Bristol, probably you go for the Agony road. So it all depends on what streamer wants to do, like how they feel, what what is the their biggest threat, probably. Okay. Now Lotus fight, yeah, extreme got it. Naga is not having the greatest. So it seems like both of laners will have a good time here on this laning stage. We'll see how much Neo will be able to do with this Bristol back. Again, I'm really curious about about this pick and what what is their idea behind it. I'm not sure what to think.
And Crystal Maiden, she went for the magic, magic stick. Learn, learn from the Y, yeah, man. Name a more iconic duo than your mom calling you during a Dota game. <laughs> 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 my cell phone doesn't doesn't have any sound, so I, I never pass through that. And my mom usually do, don't call me. No, oh, I'll Feels sad. bad. Yeah, it feels bad. <laughs> oh no, no room for Lina. I like that move from from Pew. Pew. I'm gonna call it Pew. I, I really struggle to say the W. Is, is that how you say the letter? Last w. letter. W. Yeah, I struggle to say that. So I'm just gonna say Pew. So really important to not let Lina get the, that rune. So that li makes uh, Fango's life easier. God, 12 denies for XXS. Yep. It's a free lane for the boy. He, he is feeling great. At least for LGD, they have the Disruptor. That's a, a way to deal with with Brewmaster later later on. But when he have a, such a good early game, it feels like he can do whatever he wants to. Radiant structures are fortified. Yeah, people are saying that Bristolback is gonna is gonna cook them. We'll see. I, I'm really I have huge huge huge. Uh, what is the word? I forgot the word. Uh, what I want to say. But I expect I expect hu huge things from you because I don't know what to expect. No oh, PYW gonna rotate down to the bottom lane. That's Earth Spike out on XXS. PYW pick it up first blood. Meanwhile, they're gonna turn this around. Go on to new. So no good deed goes unpunished. Then yeah, fair enough. Like both off laners, they are having a great time. Great rotation by Lion. Like you need to stop this Brewmaster somehow. And. At the end of the day, Bristol back I was like, yeah, Bristol back, I'm fine. I'm chilling. I'm going to put some creeps behind their tower, going to farm. But Extreme was like, no, 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 no. You kill our Brewmaster, we are going to kill your Bristol back. It's, it's not going to be free for you guys. So great moves by both sides. And first rune go, goes for Setsu. Mm -hmm. that, that's needed because it's not the easiest lane. And like two runes in a row that Lina is not able to get. She was not able to get the water rune at four, and now she... Does not get the six minute rune. Like, that changes the game. Right. Lina is supposed to dominate this lane. Without two runes in a row, it, you are not gonna dominate the lane. Like, she's still doing okay, but look at Pango's net worth. He's not mining this Lina matchup. Oh, Bushwhack. Able to get the swashbuckle. Oh, that's quite nice, actually. He's gonna look for a rotation, maybe. Like, playing around. Down bottom. Oh. We have three bodies again going on to XSS. Still they level have four is the Brewmaster. But the damage, it's not there. But maybe with a the glimpse, they'll have a second go of it. Bushwhack doesn't connect. XXS, though, still standing. Here comes Neo. Oh, trying to get DY. He will succeed. That poor Crystal Maiden. It's so easy for level Crystal Maiden to die. New. Oh, is that my dad? XM, baiting. LSA, bye-bye. Nice. Yeah, nice read, because, I mean, he was supposed to die there. Really well played by XM. Don't let this Bristol back run free. So it seems like both teams, they are looking at the enemies off lane. They're like, okay, both both these guys, they had great early game. Let's let's start punishing them. And now, you, he may die as well. Earth Spike coming out onto Ame. Ame gonna pop the God Strength. The Glimpse comes out, however. Kinetic Field, so the kill is gonna go to Jean Q. Is under attack. Okay, we see some moves from both sides. Yeah, the game is looking spicy. Like, no, uh, bo both teams know how it went on the early stage. Like, yeah, okay, they got this, they got this. Now let's change this. Let's move things up. Okay, he, Br Bristolback is having a good early game. Let's run at top. Let's kill Bristolback. Oh, Brewmaster is looking good. Okay, let's run at uh, Brewmaster. Don't let him have a free game. I like that. I think both. Both teams are making great reads from the map and how they are moving around it. And it's not easy for LGD to make moves. Like, Lion Disruptor is not the strongest supports early on. Like, they do okay, but both of those supports together, they don't do lots of damage. Like, yeah, they kind of lack damage early on. And even with that, they're, they're being able to, to keep on rotating and get, 
getting kills, even though they were not able to kill Brewmaster on bottom side. Like, they are... Oh, here we go. Okay. Rolling Thunder, Another free kill. easy kill on the Crystal Maiden. Yeah, it's just sad to play Crystal Maiden sometimes. It's so easy for this hero to die. It's so damn easy. Now, it seems like they, they want to apply some pressure on this tower. Um, and he left the lane already. Oh, no, never mind. Lina is tipping. They want to fight back. And they know where PYW is. Gonna throw out the Storm Hammer into the bush. Wax XM in the, in the area. And they have succeeded in bringing down PYW. Now the Laguna gonna come out onto New. He's trying to retreat, get to the high ground. XSS gonna TP into this. He is level six. He could split if he wants. Setsu with the swashbuckle. Meanwhile, the Dragon Slave coming out onto New. And he is going to fall to dot damage. Now they've got their hands onto the Brewmaster. Why you smile? Not smiling anymore. Oh, he is. Every single support, whenever they die, they smile. They're like, yeah, I'm here for this. I'm here to die. Oh, Setsu? Okay, he's fine. I, I was not expecting Extreme to go hard on uh, defending top lane, but like, they have real master. Of course, they are gonna fight early on. Like, yeah, you guys want to push? Okay, we have real master. So what? What you're gonna do? And he didn't even need to use his ultimate. It's just Lina being Lina. And while all that was happening, like, I mean, he was chasing, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go back to farming. A pretty good answer by, by Extreme Gaming. And since they didn't use Brewmaster's ultimate, they can keep on fighting. They can go for another big team fight. Oh, why you smile? Gonna tank the gank here. Yeah, pretty good to not let this, uh, this Bristleback free farm. Seems like he's going for Agony. The good old build. It's been some time since I last saw Bristleback Agony. Actually, what was the last time uh, I watched a team picking Bristleback? I can't even remember. Bottom tower is yeah, it's just so beautiful. Like, look how it's, it's extreme gaming they are playing the map. Like, they have the Brewmaster advantage, so, and also Lina. Lina is such a strong hero right now. So they they are just gonna keep running at LGD non-stop. Like, yeah, we want to fight, guys. You guys don't want to fight? Okay, we are gonna get a tower. And they keep on repeating that until they use the Brewmaster ultimate, probably. After that, uh, it's like, okay, let's shoot, let's farm a little bit, and then when his ultimate is up again, we go back to fight. I'm telling you, Chinese teams, they are so good at playing Brewmaster. So damn good. We'll see if the Brewmaster gets through in the future games, because XXS has had pretty much a free game on this brew so yep. far. Even though he's the bottom of the net worth in cores, he's definitely had a massive impact. Yeah, and, and now for LGD, it feels like it's about the diffusion timing for, for Pango, for them to be able to do anything. Uh, even with the fusion, it's still hard to play into Brewmaster's ultimate, but still, I think that's their best shot, and they need level 6 on their supports as well. Yeah. Uh, that's problematic. Like, we look at Extreme Game, both supports level 7, and LGD, both supports are level 5. So it's really hard for LGD to do anything right now. Azame just gonna steal the stacks and further accelerate his lead, create a further distance between himself and the Naga Sire in 1k separating them right now. But new, he is keeping pace with the spin at this current point in time, almost to his Aghanim Scepter. Yep, we will see how much he can do with that Agony, because everyone knows how how strong that, that Agony was. Like, and it still hurts, it's just that Bristolbeck is not such a great hero as it was in the past. But it's still, that Agony Hurts is great for killing supports. It's just, they're like, yeah, I'm okay. Then I'm suddenly, a bunch of... What is the word of his skill? What is Bristleback's second skill name? I can't remember. Uh, it's been so, so so much time since I last saw Bristleback. Well, Actually. It's nasal, it's nasal Goo. Yeah. Then... Quill spray? Yeah, Q then... Quill spray. You're right. Okay. Then you're chilling then, uh, a thousand Quill Q sprays on you, and you're like, yep, I'm dead. It's just, it's annoying to play against. At least for extreme, they have this Van armor, AoE armor, so that makes life easier, but still, it's not that easy to play against this back. But for LGD, it's all about chilling right now. They need levels, they need items. And for extreme game, it's all about fighting right now. Like, they can farm as well, but they know they have the advantage.
on the hunt, on the prowl. We have reached level 6 on our lion, though. And we are going to have a go. Gene Q stepping out a little bit too far. Going to eat a finger of death. Nice. Every single pickoff is, is great right now for LGD. And now they, they have the ultimate on Disruptor as well and the Agony on Bristleback. So now they are ready, ready to go for something. I believe Pango has his Diffuser as well, but I'm not sure. Can they fight the Lina here? Oh, XM. Yup, gonna drop the ultimate here, dude. Gonna turn around with that freshly used Agadim Scepter so and damage. get the kill. Now the Freeze Field coming out. XXS gonna drop his ultimate. New, he's being isolated. Now the Charge Shooter gonna come out as well. The damage from Ame is significant. Setsu with the Rolling Thunder just gonna have to retreat. As we're looking to trade one for one right now, but in the Cyclone, we have caught PYW. So it will go two for one in the end. PYW delaying the inevitable, but XXS will get the double kill. At the end of the day, like that's to be expected because you have the the Bristleback Agony, you have the Disruptor, you have the Burst. They found one hero, they killed that hero. The problem is that at the end of the day, the team fight for Extreme is better again because they have Real Master. So great kill for LGD, but at the end of the day, that that hurts. Like you you lost our Bristleback, which was at the top of the net worth, and Lion dying. Who cares? Just. And it's a good trade for LGD, don't get me wrong. It's just that that's it for the draft. For, not for the draft, but for Bristolback. Just feels like overall, uh, Brewmaster, he, this hero, he does more. So again, I'm still not sure what to expect from you. But it was necessary for LGD to get something out of this, because it just felt like even though there's no good advantage, both teams are farming. It felt like the, the timing was was going for extreme like they were feeling better they were making the plays because they can't do it so the game was going on their way but now with that i kill on lena like uh, lena she's just okay I, I need one more item let's show a little bit and just lgd showing like they have the potential to kill heroes now with that agony on bristol glimpse on the xxs and he is going to fall here delaying that radiance timing Yep, really important. Now they're gonna try to go for Naga. If they get that kill, that, that's huge, actually. Oh, great Push bushwhack. Back. LSA, Laguna, Shiro. Song of the Siren, it is going to drop. And now we got a rainbow of TPs in. They want to try to take this fight. We're gonna drop the ultimate from YU Smiles. And here comes the Rolling Thunder. PYW picking up the kill. On to XM. They're hunting, looking for more. Nothing will be found. XG made a good retreat. Nice. Really well played by LGD. Like, that's all that Naga needed. Like, they tried to gank Naga. Naga is fine. She's able to use her ultimate. And then LGD, they are all ready to TP in and get that kill. Yeah, that, that's one way of playing. Like, yeah, the enemy, they are looking stronger. They have the tools to pressure us. Okay, let them do it. Let's try to bait it. Like, Naga, she, she got her uh, Manta. It's not that easy to kill Naga. And Lina tried to do it with her right clicks and all spells. It was not enough. That's a, a good way to play. Like, you don't have the tools to go in. Let the enemy come. Like, do wh whatever you want. We are going to bait our heroes and we are going to kill you. I don't think LGD expected that. It's like, yeah, Naga, go farm there because they are going to gank you. But at the end of the day, that's what happened. Sure, yeah, and, and playing on a string, being able to respond whenever one of your uh, allies are being attacked and threatened is very important, and uh, showing yep. the ability to do so there is LGD responding on the map, and they've, they've closed the kill differential. It's 7 to 9 now, at 17 minutes into this game, and they're up 2k, though the spin is the top dog on the net worth chart. It's been a while since we've seen him, so I don't remember where he is on items right now. But we did get the Mage Slayer complete on the Pangolier. Yeah, and this is actually really important, because even though Extreme Gaming, they, they were rolling, you're not able to get a net worth advantage. But now LGD, suddenly, they are ahead. Oh, smokes pop, PYW. With Great the blink, he might be able to dodge it. The oh Earth going to go around and connect onto two. And now we're going to drop the Static Storm. BKB comes out from Ame, as well as the God Strike. He should be able to rip through PYW quickly, and he does. But he's out down to about quarter HP here, so he's gonna have to back. The Bruce split is gonna come out. TP, do we have a cancel? Oh, he messed up. Setsu, he messed up. Oh dear, oh me. As Setsu, now being aggressed upon, we have the damage. Yes, he is gonna fall. 
New now is the man being aggressed upon himself, but this is a bristle tanky back, or a tanky bristle <laughs> back, and he's sitting on the outside of the freezing field, so it looks like he's got to be okay for now. Going to eat a stun to eat to ease the back of Extreme Game. Maybe that was their idea, like, uh, Extreme, they are supposed to have the burst to kill Bristol, but if they don't focus all their skills on Bristol early on, they don't. But they see okay. an opportunity here, so we're going to eat up this Crystal Maiden. But Ame has vacated the premises, so that's all they will find. Yeah, so so maybe that's the idea, like, yeah, sure, they probably, with Laguna and Hoodwink's Ute Maiden, uh, Sven Ute, yeah, they have the damage to kill Bristol back, but what if they can't do that? Like, they, they went for other heroes early on, and Bristol was just, like, looking at the side, and Extreme, they are, were not focusing Bristol. So at the end of the day, the Bristol did so much on this fight. Like he was just chilling there. Maybe, uh, maybe he needs to be ignored. Like just use the all oh, a brewmaster's ultimate cyclone to just keep on Bristol flying and try to mm -hmm. ignore him as much as you can. The problem is that if you, it's not enough for you to win the fight with without the Bristol, then as soon as he's down when Brist uh, brewmaster's ultimate is over, like you you can't kill Bristol anymore. Without this Venom ultimate, you can't do it. Without Hoodwink ultimate, you can't do it. And Lina went for a Gleipnir. She chose the Naga counter. So Glebner BKB is the build for our Lina. Looking for the Aghanim Scepter is the Sfin. Looking to play Superman instead of Blink Dagger this time around. And drones on Crystal Mating. Yeah, I like that build. It's just, it's not that easy to play Crystal Mating mid game. It's so easy for the hero to kill, to die. So, yeah, I like the, the speedy, the speedy build. I'm fast, you can't catch me. Oh, that glimpse hurts. Ouch. Dyer's top tower is under attack. And the Lion went for Blink Dagger and Disruptor Solar Crest. Okay. I, I don't think it's a great duo Solar Crest and Naga, but it's not like it's a bad item. And our Naga, for the first time in this game, has been able to overtake the Ame spin. Yeah, that's true. Like. It's Naga, like, what can you do? This hero is gonna right. farm, it's gonna free farm. Zvain is do doing the same, but it's just easier to get more net worth as Naga. Because illusions are, are really strong at farming. Really, really strong. Like, if the game keeps on dragging, it's not that easy to play Zvain against Naga, even though Zvain can deal with illusions. It's not that easy. There's so much armor on that hero. Now I smoke from our three-man smoke. Okay, BKB on Bristol. This is really a really strong timing. It's not easy for Extreme to play against this. Radiant oh no, an arcane rune. That may be tough for Extreme, but they went for Roche. Okay, can I oh, should they get there in time? B lining over towards the pit. DY up on the up on the high ground by the by the twin gates. They're gonna be just too late, Gapepe. Yeah, but they probably still want to fight if they are out Judy. Can they fight an angle? Ops. Ops, please. Yes, they have found XXS up onto the high ground. But these rolling thunders almost bumping him out of the static storm. It doesn't matter, that they have close. the damage. They found able to get him down and now XM. Yeah, first BKB and XM will retreat. But I think that was good for Extreme Game because if they didn't go Roche and LGD found them before Roche, like LGD probably would have won the team fight. Like you're playing against Bristol Beck, Arcane Rune, and BKB. So Extreme Game, even though they lost the the Brewmaster, he didn't use his ultimate and they got Roche. So yeah, probably still better for, for Extreme Gaming. Great Roche call. I, it was not for that if Extreme was just farming and ended up 
having a team fight. I, I feel like they, they would have lost. Eighty-two percent cooldown efficiency. Love to see it from the XXS Brewmaster. Boots of travel next for the Lena. Uh, one, one good thing about this Gleipnir build on Lena is that if you don't go for that, if you go for the either lands and agony and all that, sometimes Lena like she usually usually don't go for BKB and. That hurts. Like yeah, I've watched so many games where Lina go for the magic build, and she she just dies whenever she gets stunned. So I, I'm glad she went for the Gleipnir because I'm glad she has a, a BKB. I think she needed here on this game. I still think that maybe Bristolback will be a problem, but yeah, I think that's right call for uh, for Lina. And now uh, I mean he's going for the Agony. Hey, it seems like this is the new build, right? You go for Madness, Echo Saber, BKB, and then straight for Agonies. Every single Sven is going for that build. I feel like I've seen more Aghanim Sven than uh, Blink Dagger Sven. Yeah. I feel like every single Sven is going for Agony. That is Radiance complete on XXS. And even though they have the Aegis, it's still hard to find into this BKB Bristol. Dyer's has been you, you can't just Cyclone him non-stop with, with the Split. And it's really hard to ignore the hero when he has BKB plus Agony. Dyer's structures are fortified. They got a free tower for Dyer's themselves, not just invading the enemy triangle, Radiance maybe try to cut the mid wave. Attack. On the turn on, on Shiro. Radiance top tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh, no, Bristol is going back for Shivas. Okay. I, the, the item was nerfed, but still, it, it's a pretty good item. Trading tier going. two towers here. Neither team uh, wanting to come to a head and defend their tower. Yeah, it's just I think it feels weird for both teams because you, you look at, at, at extreme gaming. They are on their timing with Lin and Sven. Like they are strong right now and they have ages. But you have a Bristolback problem. And for LGD, like yeah, we are looking good. We have Bristolback is strong. Shiro now got his Bloodthorn, so we are probably strong. But the enemy, they have ages. So it's kind of cringe to find a fight right now, to be honest. It's not that easy to find a, an opportunity to go in. No, oh, PYW gets Stormhammer, but he did get the Hex out. BKB before the Earth Spike. PYW is going to fall here, but they did get the, the glimpse off onto the Lina. But no, LGD's out. They don't want to try to take this. It's just not easy to find a, a good fight right now. Yeah, you need to get the enemy by surprise. So at the end of the day, just Lion died. Who cares about support dying? No one really cares. And it seems like the Brewmaster is going for A on this. Maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe uh, I'd rather oh, see BKB. Silence, oh, no BKB. Rolling Thunder. The Ensnare is here. No BKB for 47 seconds. No hope. 64 seconds. No Ame. And that's a lot of gold going to Shiro. Yeah, that's huge. You probably can go for a tier 2 tower on bottom lane. Man, good luck. Extreme game defending that. What well, freak you on the enemies. Oh, well, they want the XMTP. They're going to glimpse her away. Okay. I don't know how they want to contest this. Yeah, probably not. They, they were just like, yeah, let's try to scare the enemy, but nah. It's not like LGD will be troubled without this van. So, so it seems like it's going to be a free tower. Yeah, and they, they lost the mid tier 2 tower and now they lost the bottom tower. Like, your triangle is not as safe as it was before. So that gives 
LGD a lot of space. And the distance between this Naga and this Finn is, uh, it's growing, man. We've got 5k now separating Shiro and Ame. Yeah, that's not easy. Like, usually going mid and late game, the, this matchup is favorable to Naga. Usually Naga wins this matchup later on. So, Extreme, they, they need to find something. Like, their net worth is not bad. It's just Naga is too farmed right now. Just way too farmed. They need to find a fight with um, uh, um, uh, Ultimate and BKB. Oh, they found new. That's not the greatest. And smoke pops. They glimpse the spin back. BKB from new okay. just looking to TP out. Yeah, they forced BKB at least. That's probably not good enough, but that's something. We, we need to see if they can find something after that. Because now without BKB on Bristol back, that's your best opportunity to find something. Let's see if LGD they are able to dodge. Next attempt from Extreme Gaming. XM is going for Silver Edge. Okay, it's been some time since I last saw that Silver Edge. Oh, Gleppy out onto PYW. Looking to be an early casualty here. XXS gonna, gonna bleak up onto the high ground. Why you smile? Just looking to TP away. No! Almost. Okay, that was close actually. He almost survived. And you, you don't have the Bristleback BKB, so you don't want to fight. Losing both supports, it's probably okay. You'd rather lose them than losing a Naga or a, or a Pango. Right. The only problem is that now you lose a good chunk of the map. So Extreme Gaming, they will be able to pressure this mid tower. They will, you got lots of gold from this, this skills. Oh wait, Naga? Oh, with the, with the invisibility rune coming in, Naga. Oh, but she gets the Song of the Siren off of the BKB runner on XM, so he's still able to pump out some damage. Gleppy is going to come out, but it doesn't connect because he was still in the Rolling Thunder. So it is just going to be a tier two tower in the end, but they forced out the Song of the Siren. Okay, that felt weird. Like, Naga was just sitting there, Naga and Lina looking at each other. They, they probably tried to... Uh, to force something, uh, LGD tried because oh, like, awesome. Lion went disrupted, they were respawning. Like, this can probably be a good fight if we, if we get a Naga song on Disruptor Ultimate. No, actually, it was on cooldown, Disruptor's Ultimate. So, never mind. Yeah, I don't know why they tried to, to defend the mid tower. But no one died, so that's good. Now they, they are going for a smoke, but no Rolling Thunder yet and no song. That's not easy for LGD. But also no, no BKB on Lina, right? So maybe if you can find the Lina early on. Patience from LGD. Wrapping around from the top. Oh, but but DY he pops a smoke. PYW got to blink in. Get the get. Oh, they've got the the two man static storm out. BKB from Ame. They've already popped through XXS. There's gonna be the God Strength. Ame Master, he's trying back. to rip through what he can. Buyback from the Brew. It's rolling thunder. The freezing field is out. Shiro he is gonna fall. Same with New. Just machine gunning them down. Triple kill for Jinq. Setsu has to retreat here, and he will be successful. That's probably the right oh. call for LGD. Oh, wait. Okay. They have found why you smile. Yep. And they will be able to just walk him down with the XXS Radiance. That, that, that's probably the right call for LGD because uh, even though they didn't have the Rolling Thunder at the start of the fight and they didn't have the song, like Lina without BKB, it's really hard for Lina to play the game. But look at this fight. Where is Lina? Lina is not here. I, that's the dream fight for Extreme Gaming because of... Because Lina was not there, even though Ami um, ended up dying and Brewmaster had to buy back. Like, without Lina BKB, you, it's so easy for LGD to find an opening. But if Lina was not there, you can't find the opening. Okay, you killed the Brewmaster, but he has buyback. And now they... Like, it's hard to say they won the fight, because Sven died, but... They won the fight because now they got Roche. So I, it's really weird. Even though you don't have the Song of Siren and you don't have the Rolling Thunder, it seems like it was a good call for LGD, but because Lina was not there, because she has boots up travel, she can always tip in, the fight ended up being better for, uh, for Extreme Game, even though they had to use the buyback on Brew, of course.
that's not for free, but at the end of the day, it was a good fight for Extreme Gaming. So little separating these teams 33 minutes into the game. 2k oh, brother, is the net worth advantage. I have yes, a question. Have what What is yapping? What is what? Yapping. yapping? People are, yeah, people are yapping. People are saying that I'm yapping. I don't know what that word means. Yapping? Yeah. Why a, uh, like, they're just saying that, like, you're talking a lot? Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> I thought that was my, my job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now I smoke it's from not... LGD. I, even though Extreme Gaming, they have the ages, they are still sm smoking and going for, uh, for something. I like that move. It's risky, but I like that. Mm, doesn't look like they're going to be able to find anything with it, so maybe putting pressure onto the top tier 2 tower instead. They do have a lot of vision in this area, so if they were to take a fight, they would have the vision advantage. And now it seems like Disruptor is going for Agony. I, that, that's a... As soon if Disruptor is able to get that item, the game can change instantly. Like that, that agony is so broken on Disruptor, so so damn broken. Like, yeah, the enemy they have BKB and all that. If you get yuted by Disruptor with agony, you can't do anything. You are just dead. But still, he doesn't have agony. So now, extreme they are looking good. They have ages on Lina. Life is easier. They got a tower for free, and both teams just just chilling, just farming. TPing back to answer the aggression. Looking to TP away and dodge the fight are LGD. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And Shiro, he was not able to find much on this game. Usually when you see Naga getting the blood turn, it's like it's common to see some free kills on the map. Like, hey, you're getting a uh, support for free with the blood turn plus snare. But Shiro, he was not able to get much. He's still doing his job on team fights and all that, but he's not finding those free kills around the map. That hurts a little bit. Not much, not much, but hurts a little bit. That's for me. Well, it's an MKB out on XM. Really gonna be pumping out some damage as this Lina. So now that Lina, no, you see, I think the the idea is the same. For LGD, you need to kill Brewmaster first, right? Maybe you would go for Lina, but Lina has Aegis. So you need to find a Brewmaster. I don't know if he has his A on disc. If he does, it's a little bit harder for LGD to find an opening. Are they gonna get, get Rex for free? Okay, people are TPing now. No, but we are gonna commit the Brew split here. So yeah, it's just gonna be a lane of barracks, man. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's why you want to win a fight and get the Roche for you. Lina can hit the tower. And it's not like LGD didn't want to defend just How do you do it? Yeah, the way you fight is probably by killing Lina or Brewmaster first. But you don't know where Brewmaster is and Lina has ages. So there's not much you can do. Maybe try a wrap around with a smoke, but it's not a e an easy call to make. I felt like it was better to just push both waves and both lanes, mid and bottom, and just try to get some net worth and wait for the next fight without ages on Extreme Gaming. So again, playing the patience game, hoping that uh, in the long run, the tortoise will beat the hare. But right now out to a 5k lead, our Extreme Gaming. And <laughs> Hoodwink is just a fourth core dude. Jin Q, look at him. Yeah, he loves doing that. And it's just a great hero to go for those items. Just, okay, you have Bristol back, you're kind of tanky. It's not easy to deal with Naga. Okay, we have Hoodwink. We don't mind. And I've, I've, I've seen Shin Q going for so many different builds on this hero. I, he really understands how, play Hoodwink, how to play Hoodwink.
No extreme, they have a pretty pretty good lane wards. You look, they have a ward on mid lane, they have a ward on bottom lane. So every single time that LGD leaves their base, extreme will will know. So it's just easier to go around the map. If you want to keep on farming, yeah, sure, you know where the enemy is, you can farm wherever you want. But also, if you want to go for a play, yeah, you know where the enemy is. Now you got his bloodstone. Oh, the flashbacks of the Bristol Meta. Oh, the damn flashbacks. I'm not feeling good. Oh, blink in onto Ame. Hex is there, but all the friends are sitting behind him. But we're popping through Ame pretty quickly. That? And that is going to be the death of the spin. He's going to immediately buy back to come back into the fray. And he can TP to the outpost. So now we're trying to back on LGD. Song of the Siren going to come out. Stop Spin in his tracks as he supermans in. But now we're just pushing onto the mid tier 2 tower or tier 3 tower. Quickly it gets cut down. Melee racks next. Cycloning up new. And they want to go for more. Maybe it's even looking over. to take Megas here. Oh, shield crash in. No, Ame being brought down pretty low. Is he going to be able to fall? But, this, but the freezing field coming out from Crystal Maiden. They're turning this right back around Bloodstone out onto New, but it's not enough. He has to retreat. Setsu fall. Jing Q falls. Where is the creep Or PYW, oh, rather. Creep wave is coming in. This is going to be Mega Creeps going the way of Extreme Gaming. Man, that was close. I mean, I almost died. That was almost an, a dieback. Oh, Gene Q rushing back in. Oh, Silver Edge. Bring aggression out onto new. Silver Edge broken. Stormhammer in. Bristle back dead. Oh, Bushwhack connects onto Why You Smile. He is able to get back to the fountain. Glimpse to stop the TP of Gene Q. But playing on a string or a extreme gaming. We're not going to let you get anything for free. Yeah, LGD, you did there, smoking. Ooh, no glimpse yet. It was still on cooldown. That w would be a free kill on, on I mean, a die back, and maybe you could just go straight mid. But that was a ri uh, risky decision. I, I really like it. I think it was the right, I mean, it was the right call for I mean, Just buying back, straight buying back and going for that play, because Disruptor used his ultimate to get that kill. So that's a way to counter a big ultimate, right? You are playing against Enigma, okay, how do you counter Enigma Black Hole? You just buy back, that's it. That was the same against Disruptor. He was just bought back, and then Extreme Gaming, they, they were not afraid. It's like, yeah, I mean, if he dies, it's a dieback, but he's not going to die. And now they got Mega Creeps, good luck LGD coming back. I, they have the damage to deal with Mega Creeps, that's no problem, but... Good luck coming back against Mega Creeps and against the enemy team. Right. I still think the, the draft d does not look bad on late games. It's just the advantage now for Extreme Gaming is huge. Why is Mars? Right. He sold his Solar Crest to, to buy the Agony. If I'm not mistaken. I, I didn't see a Solar Crest on his inventory right now. Dyer are scanning. I, now we smoke up. Is that real actually? I'm not sure. Maybe the I last fight. I could click. Maybe the last fight indeed. There's going to be the Bushwhack connecting onto Why You Smile. This would be a big pickoff, but they got the ultimate off first. But nobody's trapped in the kinetic field, so what is the use? Now Nui's going to be cycloned up. Ame on the back line, trying to get his hands onto Shiro. He does. God Strength going to be popped. Meanwhile, at the bottom end, they're trying to get their hands onto Setsu. Setsu in the Rolling Thunder, bouncing around. Hoodwink being brought down pretty low. It's going to be the ultimate coming out. On to New. New is going to pop his BKB and his Bloodstone, trying to hang and bang. But here comes Ame with all the damage cutting through everybody. LSA to hold the bristle down. Unstoppable is XM. GG. GG has been called. Game 1 goes to Extreme. A pretty good game from both sides. Like, I I'm still not not sure what was the Bristol back purpose on this game. I, th there were some fights uh, where we were like, yeah, maybe.